Hello everybody and welcome. It's a windy afternoon. I absolutely love the wind, but that's not the subject I want to talk about today. Today I want to talk about finding these natural funnels for cruising bucks during the pre-rut. I absolutely love this spot. It's a spot that we've overlooked in the past. Um, it's one that I've paid a lot of attention to in the last couple of years and I finally got the gumption to come down in here and set the stand, the tree that I'm in right now. And uh, what I've done too, is I don't know if you can see it right out here. You can see it right there. Put a mock scrape tree out there today. Yes, we are the middle of October here. It's the 18th of October today, so we're in the latter half. Um, shouldn't be down in here, but at the same time, there's not a lot of bedding that occurs down in here, and that's why I can get away with talking. But what this is, and how this sets up, it's a major cruising area. This is a big, I call it a hog's back. This is a high spot. That's why this rye field is here, this green rye field. They're down in here in the evenings, late afternoons, early evenings, grazing on this rye. But what I like about it, though, too, is it's a major cruising area during the pre-rut. Um, I've had numerous pictures of bucks running cameras down here now for the last couple of years, and uh, we're not gonna overlook it this year. I've got two major trail systems that come off of the neighbor's property here, just to my west. I've got one just out in front of us, and they both converge right out here at about 15, 20 yards, and that's why I like it. I've got another stand back in the brush behind me here. You can see those two big bur oaks in right over my shoulder here. I've also got a stand right back there just to play a little bit different wind. It's actually in that box elder right there. You can't probably see the stand from right here, but we're not going to overlook this area in the coming weeks. we got a big warm front coming in this coming weekend but a big temperature drop the early part of next week and you can guarantee I'll be getting in here mid-morning and sitting my butt here all day long. And these are the kind of little features you want to look for on your property, whether it's your own property or public ground that you hunt. This is a perfect little pinch. This is a kind of a swamp area down in here. It all culminates together here. It's not real wide. It's probably 100 yards wide at the most. Just looking over my shoulder, you got you can see the ag field, the alfalfa field just to the north of me here. Again, we've got the rye here. We've got beans over across. They traveled this fence line north and south too that divides the two properties. Major crossing area here, major cruising area during the pre-rut. Um, it all pinches down here. A lot of daytime activity here during the pre-rut through the rut, of course. Um, these are just kind of the features you want to look for. I might not kill a buck here this year, but I'm going to sit here a couple times when the wind is right. I wish today was next week because the wind is perfect. It's windy out here. A lot of guys are skeptical of the wind. I love hunting the wind. It helps me get in quiet to my stands. And I like it too, because I can slip right down that tree edge right here off the road. We're only about 150. 200 yards off the road and come right down that tree line, come across the swamp and right up into this stand. Very low impact, but I'm not going to get in here until mid-morning when most of the field is cleared off with deer. I don't want to try to risk coming into a spot like this early in the morning when there could possibly still be deer out here in, in the risk of bumping deer. There's always a risk that you're going to bump deer. There's no question about it but I want to minimize it as much as possible and hopefully catch that midday cruising buck. Hey guys, I hope you found this a little bit educational and can implement it on some of your properties, the public ground you hunt, the private ground that you own and hunt. There's just things that you gotta look for. There's still time to get out and set up a mock scrape tree like I've done here, or be it a licking vine, whatever you, whatever you gotta do. It's all trial and error, whatever works for you. The scrape tree, I think it's gonna work well here. I've got those, I've got a lot of trail systems that come together right here. And I'm really gonna 
I'm looking forward to sitting in the spot in the coming coming couple weeks here, pre-rut through the rut. So thanks for following me along. Again, Ryan Nordo, Epic Whitetail Habitat LLC. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell for every time we upload a new video, you get it right away. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, share it with your friends on social media, whatever you're on. And uh, I look forward to connecting with you and I wish you the very most success this hunting season. Keep living the dream and thanks for following along.